Hello everybody, this is uh, Itzu again. Uh, the last video was about this uh, inverter I was building. And I hooked it up uh, to a battery and uh, via the inverter it went to a transformer and then to a 25 watt bulb, 220 volts. Which it uh, lights not at the brightest. I have about 15 watts uh, input in the system. Yesterday I used uh, some uh, batteries. I now hooked it up to my uh, power supply. And you can here see that I have set it to 12 volts. And the, uh, the input uh, amperage is 1.29, 1 1.3 uh, amps. It's the same we uh, get yesterday via the several methods we use this uh, input uh, measurements uh, via this uh, 0.1 ohm resistor and it was the same so I have a little bit uh, something like 15 watts input lighting this uh, this uh, bulb um, I'm not sure why we only have 15 watts and not the 25 watts so I tried a bigger bulb, 60 watt, and uh, to compare with that, and uh, let me show you show you that as well. So I've now uh, have installed a 60 watt bulb and uh, hooked it up to the same uh, configuration. I will hook up the 12 volts now, and you also see the bulb is lighting, but also not at uh, the maximum 60 uh, watts. I also have uh, the current across the uh, 0.1 ohm resistor we can measure but I also have my uh, power supply set to 12 volt and you can see the current 2.8 amps so when we calculate this the wattage uh, is about 33 watts so I think that uh, that's the maximum of this uh, toroid although nothing is getting uh, hot or warm but uh, probably there is some limitation that it uh, cannot uh, bright, uh, uh, brighten up this uh, bulb to the 60 watt it should uh, be running on. So uh, I think my inverter is, is uh, working and uh, I should be able to go to the next step. Which is this uh, loopback system from Della Morte. But when I uh, take a critical look to this uh, circuit, I don't think uh, we can hook it up uh, this way because uh, as I see it we have 220 volts coming out. It's going through a 12 volt uh, bulb, 21 watts, and then it goes to a full bridge, bridge rectifier. And then via this uh, big uh, capacitor back to the 220. Um, this capacitor is uh, very high, 30 microfarad, I think. It must be not millis, but uh, microfarad. And it will uh, have almost no resistance uh, for the uh, 50 hertz. So it will pass through and uh, then we will get this 220 volt uh, rectified and the result will be that we will have something about 220 or 30 volts DC on this, uh, on this output, on this choke. The choke will, uh, will smooth it out but uh, we eventually will have uh, about uh, 250 volts across this uh, cap and this one is rated uh, 25 volts and going directly to the input of the inverter which is 12 volts so I'm pretty sure we have a big problem there if we hook it up this way so I would like to have your opinion about this and what I will do is uh, uh, make this circuit but not attach it to the input and uh, substitute this capacitor with a one uh, for about 400 volts and to see what kind of voltage I get here 
when I run this inverter. I'm sure it's about 220 or 250 volts, which is not healthy for uh, for the input of my inverter. It will it will break. I'm sure. Um, I think I will uh, build the circuit uh, without the connection and uh, then uh, do some testing about that. In the meantime, uh, please, uh, your comments are very welcome. Thank you very much for watching. So this is what I want to uh, build before I try the loopback system. It's uh, the same system uh, and the circuit as before, only not looped back. Uh, we have the 12 volt input on the left side and going into my inverter as a black box and then uh, going out to 20 volts into the 12 volt uh, light bulb, uh, the full bridge rectifier and uh, the choke 600 millihenries and the uh, C1 capacitor 30 microfarad and then I want to measure with a multimeter the uh, the voltage on the uh, electrolyte uh, capacitor C2 and I'm almost sure it will be uh, somewhere around 250 volts and if that's the case then uh, I should be very careful uh, to hook it up back to the 12 volt input and uh, not sure uh, about this but uh, any comments uh, are very welcome before I will try this uh. um, next video will be uh, this build and uh, the, the measurements on the multimeter to see what's going on there thank you for watching